Perla is my sister. She is the baby sister, and she's been helping for over a year. And she helps. She helps me with everything, you know. Yo me veo con la clave y con la niña en cinco años juntas. Desafortunadamente, han pasado más de cinco años desde que ella estuvo en el accidente. Los doctores dicen que debería de de haber un un progreso. De hecho, ella está en un retiro temporal para el Army y este retiro temporal especifica que ella debe estar en cinco años bajo supervisión médica para que el Army determine si ella se va a recuperar o no. Entonces, el periodo de cinco años es considerable y ya pasó, ¿no? Entonces, yo me veo junto a Claudia y junto a la niña en cinco años. I have trauma brain injury and that means that I have neurological problems, I have memory problems, I have understanding problems, my cognitive level is very poor, and my comprehension level is poor. One thing you have to remember about traumatic brain injury is that this is not one condition that you can treat. It's not going to go away uh, even after a person has completed years of therapy. There can be problems that persist, there can be new problems that may not even manifest until a few years after a traumatic brain injury. My brain automatic clicked into where I got used to, you know, stuttering. Now it's just like, boom, it's like, like locked on there, you know, uh, that, okay, this is stutter, you've been stuttering. This is how you're going to be to where, you know, I got to retrain everything again, how I, you know, just how, 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 I, how I talk. Thank you, sir, for giving me the opportunity to come see me. Um, I'm interested in applying for this position. Thank you, sir, for coming to see me. I'm interested in applying for this position. I think that I'll be a good candidate for your company. I am hardworking goal-oriented and dependable. I would, I would. But traumatic brain injury normally consists of really two types of injuries. And so the initial injury is often a, a contusion or some type of injury to the surface of the brain. So you can imagine um, if this were a brain inside a skull that there was um, an impact that came from, say, this area, that there might be an injury to this area of the brain, to the, um, in this case, the right parietal area. In addition, though, a lot of times because the brain is able to move inside of the skull vault, there also might be injury to the kind of opposite side, what's called a contra coup injury. And so that's one type of injury that can occur in the case of a traumatic brain injury. In a lot of ways, it's kind of like working with a, a computer that's got a virus. You want it to do what you tell it to do. And no matter how you try to get that computer to perform the task that you're asking it to do, it's just not coming together. The neurological department and the TBI group at Fort Hood selected me to go to Project Victory. Very lucky to to be able to come down here and benefit from this treatment. Good, we'll see how much of it you remember. All right, you ready for this? Yeah. Okay, you only get one shot. Here we go. It can be really confusing confusing with this type of injury because when you look in the mirror, it doesn't seem like anything's wrong with you. It's not like physical therapy where if you physically work harder at it, you can get stronger. You don't see any muscles regrowing. You don't see bones mending. It's it's almost like uh, it's almost like being in your own little prison inside your head because nobody else knows what's going on. Ella lo que trata de hacer en momentos, porque esto lo olvida, ¿no? Con el paso del tiempo lo olvida. 
cuando ella, cuando nosotros le contamos y le contamos de mi papá o le contamos cualquier otra historia, ella lo que hace es construir recuerdos. No es que ella recuerde, como que construye los recuerdos y en base a lo que nosotros le hemos dicho, ella recuerda. Entonces pasa el tiempo y si no le volvemos a decir, lo olvida, ¿no? Entonces volvemos a contarle y a contarle y vuelve a construir otros recuerdos. Not too long ago, I was relying my uh, activities and my appointments and my notes on a notebook, on a paper agenda. And I just told to my doctors that I, you know, it gets to the point where you feel, I feel sick and tired of the whole situation. And I told them that I wanted to go, that I, want, that I wanted to make a change in my life and see if I could have handled something more convenient for me to carry around. With my short-term memory problems, I will, uh, it, like, if I have an appointment or something, I will actually uh, tell my wife about it, and she'll write it down. Uh, it's on the internet. It's a service. It's, a, it's not on the telecom. It's, uh, it's not... <laughs> Babies say it when they're young. <laughs> Babies do it when they're young. Google! Yeah. Oh, crap. <laughs> I'm going to give you a time restriction. 30 seconds to, give, to describe that one. Yeah? Th th you ready? Go. Spiritual. Ghost. Dead. A ghost that would live on and on. They also call that as spiritual ghost. Mm -hmm. like that, that would that would live on and on. Or people describe uh, Dracula as what? Since he he cannot he cannot pass away. Eternal. Yes. Oh, very good. That's another thing too. Memory loss and uh, this remembering things. Because I'm I'm normally I'm normally on point of things. I'm. You know, you nobody know, had to tell me anything, you know, twice. And uh, I don't know, like my girlfriend would say, or other people would tell me, you know what, Mark, you already told me that already. I'm having to reteach myself math right now getting my brain to recognize the symbols and remember the the rules. Right now I'm leaning towards engineering. So, but right now I'm gonna concentrate on getting core courses done and getting into the groove of college and figuring out what techniques need to be used to, uh, to work around that.